Hi everyone, so we're going to start looking at odd and even numbers. So we've done lots around learning about tens and ones, learning about greater than, less than, but now we need to start understanding what an odd and an even number is. So the next couple of days we're going to spend that looking at odd and even numbers. So let's have a look first of all at our numbers to 10. So if you want to count with me, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's really useful looking at the Numicon to help us with tens and ones because if I put my little pen on, okay, we can see that some of them have one on the top, okay, can you see? And we call them the odd ones, okay, because they've got an odd one on the top, all right? So if they've got an odd one on the top, then they are our odd numbers and they're the bit like the steps, aren't they? So we start with one because that's one, so that's odd. So then our next odd would be three, five, seven, nine. And then our even numbers are the ones where we've got the flat, okay, for the two, the four, the six, the eight, and the ten. And obviously zero would be as well, all right? And I'll go into a little bit more detail later on, okay? Because even numbers can be split equally into groups of two, okay? So if we're splitting them in equally into two, so say you needed to share a bag of sweets between you and your friend, then you can share them equally. But if you had an odd number of sweets, you wouldn't be able to do that. So let's have a little think a little bit more then. So here we have, we've got our even numbers and we've got our odd numbers. So our even numbers are 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And our odds are 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. So what is the same and what is different? I've given you a little bit of a clue, but see if you can tell your grown-up now. What is the same and what is different between these Numicon pieces and our odd and even numbers? Yeah, so like I've just said, okay, you can see that they've got the odd one, haven't they, on the top of some of them, okay? And that makes them the odd number because that odd one, if you had three sweets, yeah, between two people, you could only have one each, couldn't you? Because there's an odd one left over. It's like an odd one out, all right? So anything with the odd one, we know is our odd number. So let's have a look. There we go. Can you see? Perfect. So have these been sorted correctly? So I've told you 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 are our even numbers and 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9 are our odd numbers. Can you take a look? So I've put all the odd numbers here and all the even numbers here. Have I sorted them correctly? Pause the video and have a look. No, I haven't, have I? Because I've put number 1 in the even column, in the even circle. And it should go in the odd. There we go. Well done if you spotted that. So we can relate to this to numbers. So we can put one in there. Two is even. Three is odd. Four is even. Where's five going to go? Is it odd or even? It's going to go to odd, isn't it? Because it's got that odd one out. Six is even. Seven is odd. I hope you're saying this. Eight is even. Nine is odd. And ten is even. Well done. So we can then relate that to numbers. So one, three, five, seven, nine, which you've heard me talking about, are all odd numbers. And two, four, six, eight, and ten are all even numbers. So any you can choose any number you want to. And if it ends in any of these numbers, you can then tell if it's an odd or an even number. So you know how we've been going on to look at teens numbers. So if I said 15, we know it's made up of a one and a five. We look at the ones column, that tells us if it's an odd or an even number. So if it was 15, the ones column is number five, so is that going to be odd or even? Yeah, so we know 15 is odd as well. So by knowing that 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9 are odd, and 0, 2, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, sorry, I missed 4 out, didn't I, are even, we can then relate that to other numbers. So let's have a look on a tens frame then. So if we start with 1, okay, 2, 3, 4, can you see? How you can see that our pattern is either flat or we get the odd one out as well, don't we? Okay, to show our odd and our even numbers. So even numbers end in 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8. And then obviously we say 10 because that ends in the 0. Odd numbers end in 1, 3, 
five, seven, and nine. And it's just repeating that over and over again to know, remember those numbers. And like I say, you can relate it to bigger numbers when you're definitely secure in knowing your odd and even numbers. So we can count in twos to know our even numbers, and we're good at counting in twos, aren't we? So we start at zero, and we go two, four, six, eight, ten. And we could keep going, and it would still, as long as we kept counting in twos, okay, for our even numbers, we would just keep going, wouldn't we? Counting in even numbers. But we can also count in twos using our odd numbers. Hmm. What number am I going to start with then? If I'm going to count in two, starting from our odd numbers, I'm going to start at what number and jump to what number? Have a little think. Maybe pause the video. A tricky one, that one. Maybe you didn't find it tricky. So we know our odd numbers are one, three, five, seven, and nine. So I'd start at one and then jump to three, jump to five, seven, and then nine. And you can see it's going in jumps of two. Well done if you spotted that. So what I want you to do is I've written numbers from zero to 10 and I want you to sort these into odd and even numbers. So you need to write odd and write even and then using the numbers, put them underneath to tell me which are the odd numbers and which are the even numbers. So pause the video and have a go. So here we have sorted our odd and even numbers. So remembering odd numbers are one, three, five, seven, and nine. And even as 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. Give yourselves a big tick and thumbs up if you did that. Right, bit of a trickier challenge this time because we've been learning numbers to 20. I thought I'm going to throw this one in there for you. So I've chosen some numbers between 0 and 20 this time. So remember what I said to you earlier. If it ends, if the ones digit, so it ends in that number, the ones digit, is an odd number, then it's an it's an odd number. You could have 10 numbers all in a row, but that last number is what you're looking for. If it's an odd number, it's an odd number. If it's an even number, then it's an even number. Doesn't matter what numbers come before it, you're only looking at that ones digit. Hope that makes sense. So sort these out, looking at the ones digit, not the tens, the ones digit, to see which are odd and even numbers. Pause the video, off you go. So here we have, so our odd numbers were 11, three, nine, seven, and 15. And our even numbers were 14, six, 18, zero, 12, and 10. Give yourselves a tick if you got that right. If you didn't, maybe have a look, chat with your grown up, or, as I always say, please send me a message on Tapestry if you are not sure. Right, different challenge again. You know I like my challenges. I've written number words this time. Oh, my goodness. How are you going to know if it's odd or even when you can't see the number? So this is where it's important to relate the number to the number word. So I've given you some number words there. You might want to write the number down to then work out whether it's odd or even. So again, odd, even, split these up. I'd like you to have a go at writing the word under the odd and even, if possible. I know, I like to be picky, don't I, Nottingham class? If not, write the number. That's absolutely fine, okay? Pause the video, have a go at this one. Well, let's have a look. So we've got 3, 11, 18, 19 for odd, and then even, we've got 0, 6, 10, and 12. Well done if you manage that, okay? So that's all for today. If you need more practice, like I say, your grown-up can give you a number, and you can decide whether it's odd or even. You can choose a number yourself and sort it into odd and even, just looking at that one digit. I'm sure your grown-ups will get some more help for you if you need to. Well done, everyone. Take care.